On the sidelines of a global AI safety summit in the UK, Elon Musk has spoken of the existential threat artificial intelligence poses to humanity. The billionaire tech entrepreneur spoke to Sky News outside the event. It's certainly a symbolic venue, Bletchley Park, home to the wartime codebreakers who pioneered the field of machine learning, in a way, the birthplace of modern AI. We overheard Elon Musk going one further. AI is, in a way, our, like, our descendant, you know, our sort of child or something like that, yeah. The AI he and others are here to discuss is our wayward offspring that must be Elon. brought into line. Elon, I'm from Sky News. Do you think AI is a threat to humanity still? <laughs> it's a risk. While he brought some stardust to the summit, a more quietly significant presence was the Chinese government. This is the first time they've sat around a table to talk AI safety with their American and European counterparts. Having more than 20 countries coming together, I would hope that maybe next year we're having 40, then we're having 100. Uh, I'm really grateful that China and Chinese um, researchers like myself has been invited. I hope that we, we have already been providing a complimentary view. The Bletchley Declaration announced today agreed 28 countries here would collaborate on AI safety. They've also agreed to meet again next year. The start of a process to try and control powerful AI. But will the tech companies play ball? I think we embrace that. I mean, there has to be outside audit and verification of the kinds of capabilities we're developing. I mean, we build some of the largest and most capable language models in the world, and we recognize that doing red teaming ourselves is just the first step. In closed sessions, delegates heard how AIs off the leash could assist cyber attacks, even help make bioweapons. The main focus of the delegates here at Bletchley Park is on the dangers posed by very large, super-intelligent AIs that are expected to be released in the coming few months or years. But what about the AIs that we've already got? There are those at the summit who think the conversation has not been focused enough on the risks already posed by them. And you, do you think that's AIs already run call centres, diagnose illness and feed us ads. It does some very useful things. Um, facial recognition, for example, could be useful. can be also really misused for surveillance or policing. So, so what we're really trying to say is, is let's steer this technology to work for people in society. Bletchley's history hasn't been rewritten yet. Nothing substantive has been agreed so far on making AI safer. The delegates have their work cut out with the ghosts of code breakers watching over their shoulders.